Moving along with our Absolute Beginner Unreal Engine Materials series, we've made a couple of materials already so far, this procedural brass material, and then we've downloaded some textures off of a website and have made this plate metal material. But let's take a look at the materials that we can get from Megascans. I want to download something right here inside of Unreal. Unreal acquired Megascans by Quixel, and we can download Quixel content quite easily. Quixel is great for, especially for real world materials. So you're not going to find a lot of fantasy stuff or sci-fi things in there because what Quixel is doing is going out into the real world and photo scanning a lot of like rocks and trees and sand and dirt and that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for those environmental textures especially, they're really terrific for that. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then I want to use that as a little bridge to get us talking about material instances. That's going to be the next couple of tutorials where we're really talking about creating instances to give us all kinds of functionality with our materials. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up the content drawer. I'm going to click on that. And normally we're importing things. So if we're importing textures that we have downloaded from a third party or something we've made ourselves, we're going to click on that import button. But we're going to come over here to add because add adding content is sort of default epic content. And that's where this lives in here. So you click on the add button, you can see that there is add Quixel content right up here on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and move it over from my other screen. And here is the Quixel bridge that's built into Unreal 5. And I can find the surfaces. Uh, I can find the surfaces link here out of the home button. And these are all the materials that you're looking for. This 3D assets and other things that you can download, lots of decals. There's a lot of great stuff here in Quixel. But what we're looking for is the materials. So I'm going to click on concrete over here and I'm just going to find this one that says dirty concrete wall. Now I've already downloaded this but if I select this here you can see you do need to log in with your Epix account or your Google account or whatever you're using. You need to log in to download these and I really you should be only be using them in an Unreal project for free um, otherwise you, you need to pay for them. So if you're putting them in your Unreal project you're fine but uh, don't put these into some other kind of, uh, of project. So I've got the dirty concrete selected I've already downloaded it. So if I were to download this one next to it here, I'm going to click on this little green button right over there, or you can select it with this little side panel open. You can choose your quality level. You can go to the highest quality, lowest quality. It's kind of up to you in terms of like how prominent that material is going to be in your scene. Basically, this is nanite is the highest quality. And then we're just doing like, it's like 4K, 2K, 1K, I think is basically what that translates to. So you don't need to be reaching for super high quality. I'm just going to leave it on medium quality for what we're doing right now. And then I need to click on the download button. Then it's going to ask you to do your login if it's the first time you're doing that. But that's something that's important to know about is there's a second step here. It's downloading it to your local uh, folder here. So if I click on my local folder, you can see there it is because I've already downloaded it. And here's a bunch of other things that I've done for other projects in the past. So if I want to actually add this to my current open Unreal project, I need to click on this little blue circle here, this add button, or you can click on that little blue arrow or the black arrow inside of the blue circle up on top of those. Either one of those will do that. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that right now, but that's what you're going to want to do if you want to follow along exactly, or feel free to grab any other material. It's not going to matter, and then download those and add those to your scene. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to open up the content drawer again here, and you'll notice that we have Megascans folder here that has surfaces. So if I pop open that surface folder there, we can see there's our dirty concrete wall in the folder. So here is the material, but you'll notice that it's a material instance. Here are the textures that it's using. There's one of those pack textures that we talked about in the last video, a normal map, and then an Abeta map, a color map on that. So I'm going to just click and drag this guy and just drop it right over here on top of my cube. It's kicked off our plate texture, and it's just replaced it with this uh, material on there now. But this is a material instance. So that's that's how you download Quixel content. So knock yourself out, download all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of things in there. But let's use this as an opportunity to talk about what this actually is. So if I right click on this, you can see that there's a find parent in here. Let's go ahead and find the parent material for this. And that's going to open it up in my drawer again there. It's taken me to Megascans surface material. And this is the parent material for that. I'm going to open this up and we'll see inside here. It's actually pretty simple in here. We've just got the 
four basic maps, the albedo map, the uh, the metalness combined map here. That's one of those ARD maps. So that's ambient occlusion, roughness, and displacement, those maps that we were talking about, the pack textures. And then there's a normal map over here. And it looks like, well, boy, that's, that's kind of simple. Well, there's more hidden here because each one of these are material functions. So if I double click onto this little material function, we're actually going to recreate something very similar to this in one of the upcoming videos here where we're going to create our own parent material. But all this is is a way to kind of store, it's like a macro almost, it's a way to store all sorts of stuff. So I can come back to the content browser and you can see here is the functions folder. That's where that one lives. There's the tiling one. There's one for displacement for other kinds of adjustments that you can see in here. Uh, and that's a way you can just kind of drag and drop these right into a material. I'm not going to cover that in this series because it's a little bit more advanced, but it's, it is interesting to open up these mega scans materials and just pop some of these things open and kind of see what's in here. So once we open up a few of those little drawers here, it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's actually not too bad. If you look at each one of these things here, it's like, it's got a nice little box in here that's talking about, all right, well, here's the metallic input. Here's the way you can control some of those. We'll, we'll talk a lot about what these are when we make our own material in uh, the future, in a future video, but it's really worth some time to, to poke around inside these mega scans materials or materials in the starter content is another great place to find that and really explore to see how some of these things are done. But we're going to go ahead and start in the next video, our own parent material, and then we're going to create instances from that. I'm going to show you how we can do tiling and scaling and rotating and tinting the color and all kinds of things when we create our own parent material. So watch that one next.